Ladies and gentlemen, this is a major update to my 8 a.m. segment. USA Today, Joe Biden's Delaware Beach home searched by Federal Bureau of Investigation and Documents Probe. It's nice to live near the ocean and just wake up to a nice sunrise and, and in the evening a nice sunset. But oh, what's this? The Guardian, Federal Bureau of Investigation certain searches Biden's Delaware Beach House in classified papers investigation. Fox News, Department of Justice searching Biden's Delaware Beach home amid classified document investigation. There's, okay, so, oh, uh, he consented to the search. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> According to his attorney. So, so did Trump. Um, there was consent for the search, even though the search with Trump was not lawful. There was no reason to do that. The reason they're doing this with Biden is that he might have, almost certainly did, and I explained that on H.A. Goodman's other channel today, and I explained that also in the 8 a.m. segment. He almost certainly certainly committed crimes along with Hunter. The reason is that you have classified data repackaged, reformatted, summarized in Cliff Notes version during uh, business negotiations or during the consulting arrangements with corporations. So what happened was, according to uh, Congressman Ted Cruz, Congress, uh, sorry, Senator Ted Cruz, Senator Ron Johnson, others, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, Chuck Grassley, Senator Iowa, what happened was... Um, there, there were emails that Hunter wrote that were repackaged that had the same information as classified documents that Biden had. That's a felony. That is a serious, serious crime. They did not sell, so the Bidens, like I, I keep saying, did not sell classified data like Aldrich Ames or Robin, Robert Hansen or John Anthony Walker. They didn't go to the Soviets, go to the embassy and say, oh, here's the classified data. OK, but what they did was they summarized or used the Cliff Notes version of information they should never have utilized to enrich themselves. That's not even addressing the issue of forcing out a prosecutor and then not giving forcing out a prosecutor and saying you're not going to get a billion in loan guarantees. How people spun that is unbelievable. How they spun that into, well, he was a bad prosecutor. Well, what's the problem? It's like, well, that's not for you to say. That's for that country to say. That's for that the officials within that country to determine uh, the the future or the fate of their own of their own prosecutors, not um, dependent upon you withholding a billion in loan guarantees, which Biden told on himself in front of the Council on Foreign Relations. We've never done that before. Furthermore, the officials in that country invaded under his watch, by the way, stated you don't have the authority to do so. So this nonsense about how everybody knew the, the, the official was corrupt, well, the officials there stated to the, the vice president at the time, you don't have the authority to do that. But anyway, so they didn't just sell information. The, the big issue now is they repackaged, summarized, maybe cut and paste pasted information, okay? <clears throat> that is a huge, huge deal. So Federal Bureau of Investigations were sent, agents were sent to uh, President Biden's vacation home in Delaware on Wednesday to conduct a, a search for additional classified documents. Quote, today, with the, with, here, we, we, we love this, with the president's full support and cooperation. Um, yeah, same thing with Trump. What, what did he not let uh, the agents into Mar-a-Lago? Wasn't that the full support and cooperation of Trump? So, the search today is a further step in a thorough and timely DOJ process. Except, the, the timely, uh, <laughs> this was all found in November. So, we know why they didn't, uh, they weren't forthright, okay? They probably wouldn't have kept the Senate had we known that Biden had this classified document fiasco. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. I have a, a live stream today. I have two live streams, actually. 
So you will have a live stream probably around um, about 4 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, about 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm also going to do uh, a very important segment at around 7 p.m. on President, former President Donald Trump possibly getting indicted in Georgia. I know that I, I didn't think that would take place at all. Um, I'm looking at an ABC News article and reading it thoroughly and some other articles, and it, it does seem they'll do the unthinkable in indicting him for a crime he didn't commit. So we will talk about that uh, at around 7 p.m. I'll have an upload and then a later tonight, a live stream. But ladies and gentlemen, I will have two live streams every day on this channel, five total videos, uh, in addition to H.A. Goodman's other channel, um, be there. That, that There was a 9 p.m. segment that was very important, and there will be a 12 p.m. segment, and I'll have corresponding segments throughout the, throughout the day. Uh, but every day, four, seg four videos on H.A. Goodman's other channel, five videos on H.A. Goodman. So we're going to grow both channels, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to try to get to 250,000 subs, 300,000 subs sooner rather than later. And with your help, I think we can do that. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Uh, become part of the Patreon. To my new Patreons, I cannot thank you enough, ladies and gentlemen. And... What have I been saying? Everything I'm so, unfortunately, well, fortunately for Trump, everything that I've been saying is taking place. Um, we have this controlled type of um, this political collapse or demolition, and there's a reason for that. Um, the super thanks is below, uh, next to the like and the share buttons, and become a member of this channel. So they searched his vacation home and this is a big issue because there are documents floating around from Biden's time as senator when he didn't have so here here are the here are the differences between Trump and Biden which make Biden's um scandal fiasco infinitely more serious and prove or show that he can face criminal charges on this issue. They might indict Trump on the on the Georgia trans phone transcript. So that's another story. So they might try to even the score even though there's no there's no comparison, but here um because this is not good for this presidency or the Democratic Party, so they might try desperately to even the score on the state level. And you're not going to have Georgia Republicans back him. So that's another curveball within a, within the American political scene. But here, Biden did not have the ability to class, declassify anything as senator. Number one, huge issue. Huge issue. He didn't have the ability to declassify anything as senator. Number two, he could have, along with Hunter and others, repackaged, summarized, uh, cut and pasted in a Cliff Notes version, uh, classified data to enrich himself by facilitating or by, you know, um, um, adding to his consulting, okay, and his business deals, okay, that is huge, and I talk about that on H.A. Goodman's other channel, I talk about that this morning also, then the issue is, he, did, he doesn't know, then you have the University of Delaware, and I'll explain that uh, either later today or tomorrow, but I did talk about that, University of Delaware has 1,800 plus boxes of information, they could be shielding a lot of classified data from his time as senator. That's a big problem, okay? Because if he has classified data floating around that corresponds with his, because if they made copies of that data and with, with the classified information that um, was utilized for his business endeavors, that's you're talking about numerous felonies and a whole bunch of uh, prison time. So that's, that's not just for Hunter and everybody else. That's for Joe also. Um, and then you have the laptop from you know where. So for people who, who are watching this, starting at eight minutes, I break down pretty much everything. The laptop shows incriminating, you know, emails. How can you use your influence on the company's behalf? This is a huge issue, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going away. And it's only going to get worse. That's why I think they're going to go after Trump and indict Trump to make to kind of, in a, in a very bizarre Clintonian way, even the score. Uh, it won't, 
I think that Trump will still, um, I think Trump will still obviously become more popular. They, everybody will know the system's just going after him to cover up for a very, very corrupt system that's collapsing before our very eyes. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. Be here for the live stream. Check below for the uh, link. Thanks, everybody.